What's up, everybody? Hey, Jason here, and this is Sick Made Airbrushing coming at you guys. Hey, man, appreciate you guys tuning in again for another episode of uh, some Sick Made Airbrushing. So I got another helmet today. I'm going to do another freehand style uh, airbrushing video for you guys. Um, here's my image customer is looking to get. Doesn't got to be exact. Um, it's, I'm using this as a strictly for references only. Okay, you guys, I'm just going to get right into it, man. This is part two of a three-part series on these um, bucket helmets that I've been doing. If you haven't seen the last video, check it out. And I also I welcome you all, man, to to my channel. If you're new here, I appreciate it. If you've been here, subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. All right. So the title of this video, freehanding isn't as hard as you think. Why do I say this? Because I truly believe this is something that everyone can do, man. I truly believe that as long as you practice and practice and and practice that craft, man. You know, I think you could uh, lay stuff down and create. <clears throat> but I'm going to go ahead and go through this video, man. I'm going to explain that through this whole video. And, um, yeah. So let's just, let's just get into it, man. And I'm going to go ahead and lay this paint down. And I hope you guys enjoy um, uh, Airbrush TV, man, because this is where it's at. get into this title guys you know uh, why I think freehanding isn't as hard as you think well I'm a prime example of that man so let me explain you know I've always been a drawer man I've always could see something and I could draw it that was at an early age in my life I found out about <clears throat> you know I didn't practice throughout my life I, I just knew I could do it um, I haven't really been in airbrushing but maybe the past eight years but but past 30 years I was off and on on, on. I was off and on with it you know what I mean so <clears throat> it wasn't like a like I was really getting into it so but the past eight years I have but the past four years is when I you know the past four years I really been practicing my freehand but back then four years ago man I just you know I, I just I was relying on stencils and, and I was relying on cutouts and tape and you know all this stuff man you know what i mean and it, i just i got tired of it guys you know what i mean i i just got tired of it I, I felt like it was slowing me down i felt like i wasn't i wasn't making when i would make a shirt for somebody i just felt like i was losing money <clears throat> so you know four years ago i said screw it man i'm missing a pass it 
I'm going to pass it. I'm going to practice and practice and practice. You know, and I know I could draw. I know I could do this. You know what I mean? And I just kept going with it, man. And that's something I think that everyone can do. I think you could just get out there and practice. If you if you know how to draw already, you know, lay it down, man. Just lay it down on, on, on any kind of surfaces that you want. T-shirt. I started out on just doing stuff on T-shirts, man, because, you know, T-shirts, what, back four or five years ago, you know, I get them for like a dollar eighty, dollar ninety. you know what I mean, for a T-shirt, you know what I mean? So... Just they're just throwaways or practice on paper towels or anything like that, man. But when you want to practice is like on your freehand stuff is is practicing drawing, you know, practicing drawing images, you know, uh, uh, comic book characters, um, not necessarily uh, graffiti. That stuff helps you out the name designs and stuff like that. But you know, pick out stuff or if you have stuff that you've drawn. On, on on paper man put that stuff up you know what i mean so but that's what it took for me man i'm a prime example of of why you know i don't think it's as hard as everyone thinks because if you practice man you you could get it down to where you you get that confidence and you, and you start believing in yourself right and that's what i ended up doing man so and i believe everyone can do it and i believe you could do it so that's my uh, thoughts on that that's just me um, I don't like I said. I just don't. I don't have nothing against any, any other of those techniques, man. I just this is where I'm more creative, and this is where I think you guys will be more creative and more more satisfied in, in doing what you're doing, man. You know what I mean? So um, it's you're always satisfied creating, man. But you know, this is just a different feeling when you go into something like this. Um, so yeah, man. Just um, that was my thoughts on that, man. You know what I mean? So and that's how I became doing or just appreciated more what I was doing, you know what I mean, and I, I just, just don't stop. Well, here's an example right here, you guys, you know, roses, I don't know what it is about roses and, and me uh, trying to create roses freehand back in the day, man, you know, I just, I always thought I had to cut them out just to make them perfect, you know what I'm saying, you know, and, and I'll, after a while, man, I just got, you know what, it don't have to be perfect, none of this has to be perfect. You know, I'm just going to just draw what I see, man, and, and just, you know, roses are, are flowers or anything like that, man. I don't know what it was, man. I was intimidated by it. But then I just said, you know what? Screw this, man. You know what I mean? You just got to say to yourself sometimes, man, you know what? F this, and I'm just going to just create it and, and, and see how it turns out. You know what I mean? And, and that's how you got to roll with it, guys. But, you know, my point was, is, you know, I was always making, that's before I got my cameo to make stencils. I was relying on this stuff, man. I was relying on cutouts, and man, God, it just it took just took too too much time, too much time, and, and I just wasn't a fan of that.
so just wanted to just take a second here or a minute or two uh, this is about halfway point on this design here so uh, just remember take your time you know build it up you know you can you can start with white you can start with a, a light tone gray on a, on a black surface but in this case I just laid it all out with white <clears throat> because I knew the skull was white, I knew her face was white, and just got it all laid down. So now, I used that Payne's Gray on her face, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start with the black and just start building it up and getting my heart points in. So, um, working on the hands a little bit better, or a little bit more, <clears throat> working on the skull, bring her face out some more, and we're just gonna roll like that, man. So I just wanna, to say thank you guys if you guys are still watching uh continue to the rest of the video man if you got any questions post them down below man uh, again you just got to get out there and, and do your thing and, and create and draw and draw 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 you know what i mean so if you want to just draw with your airbrush like i do <clears throat> do it man you could do it you just got to get out there and do it man you know what i'm saying so that's what it's all about all right so continue with the video guys i appreciate you guys all right, thanks. Okay, you guys, so I just want to just uh, take this quick moment to thank all my subscribers, man. Uh, I really do appreciate you guys, man. Um, I got the day of this post to probably be, I think I'm at 165. 165 subscribers. That's what's up, man. I really do appreciate you guys. I really do hope you guys are getting something out of these videos, man. I hope I'm able to push you guys to go out there and create and do your thing. Um, you know, if, if it's not just the, to freehand, man, uh, just go out and create period, man. That's what, that's what these videos are all about, man. I'm just trying to get you guys out there, man, and, uh, go, uh, motivate you guys to go do your thing. But also guys, you know, just, uh, you guys, if you guys don't make content like this, man, you guys, uh, these videos are, they're, they're, they're time consuming, man. They're a little hard. They're not hard to do. They're fun to do. Um, I love doing them and, um. You know, I just, I really do hope you guys get something out of these um, videos, man, and appreciate these videos. If you do make content, man, you understand where I'm coming from. But anyways, guys, <clears throat> as for this, as for this right here, um, I'm just put, I'm just touching, I'm just going ahead with the black, man. I'm just laying it down, laying all my hard points in, and uh, getting my shading in there, building the skull up. Um, one thing I want to mention, man, is uh, when you're doing females. You gotta be a little careful, man. A little delicate. Be a little more delicate on the on on females, man. You know what I mean? When you're painting them, um, you don't want to overdo it with the black. You don't want to. You know what I mean? Just you just gotta be careful. <laughs> just be careful with the the process when you're doing females, man. If you haven't done a female painted one yet, paint paint one and, and try it out, man. Um, I think they're pretty easy to do. Um, just because you don't have to get so much in detail with it as for like the, the skin wise, the, you know, you don't, it's not like, like doing a portrait, like a man where you get, you, you're trying to get the, 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 the wrinkles and everything like that. You know, females are just, they're just more delicate, more, more beautiful than us. <laughs> and, um, it's, it just takes a little more, uh, delicacy on the, on the, on that process. Um, what I should have done was uh, started out with the with the lighter gray and built the tone up, but I just went for it. <clears throat> just went back and forth with the black and the in the white, man. That's what I do. So just building depth in this whole process, you know. And that's what you're doing with the with the skull, with the hair, anything you're doing, man. You're always building depth, and um, that's how you, that's how you make an image pop. So, anyways, guys, thank you all, man. Just um, we're get, getting close to the end here, man. Um, like I said before, man, you know, I really do appreciate you all. And don't forget, guys, this is a, a three-part series on these bucket helmets. So the, check out the next one coming up, man. i um, trying to get these videos out at least uh, within 10 days. Trying to do once a week, but sometimes it gets a little hard. But, um, you know, I'm trying to put them out once a week within or within 10 days. And also, guys, just keep in mind that, you know, I had a cut a lot of stuff out in this video that's not that's not in here um you know just like stuff i worked on the face and and, and whatnot you know what i mean um you guys are getting the, the the logistics out of this whole thing man and i hope you really are getting something out of this um but i did have a cut you know i had a, a four and a half hour uh, video cut down to 
a little over 20 minutes. So just keep that in mind that there is a lot missing. And also, um, just stay to the very end, guys. I got my final thoughts. And um, yeah, this is Keep It Rolling. There you have it, guys. Boom. Boom. I'm going to leave it like that. Let's move on to the next one. All right, you guys. Hey, that does it for this episode, you guys. So I really appreciate you guys um, continuing to watch this video, man, through the whole process. Like I said, man, I really hope you guys got something out of it. Um... Get out there, and, and my videos are all about pushing you guys to your to your limits, man. So get out there, create, draw, do your thing, man. At least put 15 to 30 minutes a day <clears throat> to get better at freehand drawing, freehand airbrushing. That's what it's all about, man. You got practice, 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 man. That's what it's all about. <clears throat> so I hope you guys are, are doing that and, and, you, and getting better at what you're doing, man. And that's what it's all about, guys. So here's the finishing product. So I'm going to lay it down. I went ahead and, and put a couple of coats of clear coat on here. I use Tamco clear, um, a high build clear, just in case if I need to go ahead and wet sand it, buff it out. But it usually lays out like glass to where I don't even got to do that. Um, so this helmet turned out pretty dang good, man. I got a little bit of um, trash in here. So on this section here, I would probably wet sand that out, buff that out, be done with it. Um, but this clear coat's sick, dude. So, there's the helmet, man. There's my finishing product on that. 
all freehand, guys. That's what it's all about, man. You know what I mean? So practice, build it up, you know. It's, and like I always say, man, it's just it's how far you take it, how far you want to take this, man. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> I could probably put another 10 hours into this, you know, just, just getting more detail with it. You know what I mean? But you got to understand, and the customer needs to understand, you don't have a week just to do one project. You know what I mean? If they paid you $1,000 to do it, yeah, I have a week. <laughs> but in this case, all my stuff that I do on these videos, man, they're all customer-based stuff. So <clears throat> this is a customer. Uh, I price a customer out this helmet, you know, and I'm going to work it within those limits of, of the price, right? So I'm only going to put in <clears throat> the, amount, the amount that I charge is that's how much, I'm, how much time I'm going to put into this. I know what this, what this right here. You know, this took about four, <clears throat> almost five hours to complete. I could have, like I said, I could have went further with it. It's, it's when you need to say when and when you need to stop to where you're not losing money. Because if you got other stuff going on, <clears throat> you got to bang this out, man. You got to bang it out, get to the next project. You know what I mean? That's all my videos are, man. So everything I'm doing is all customer stuff, right? So bang this out, got another one, boom, boom, boom. That's how it works. So anyways, man, I really do appreciate you guys continuing watching this video. Get out there and do your thing, guys. This is Jason, Sick Made Airbrushing, coming at you guys. You guys take care, man. Peace out.